what's up furies in today's video we're going to talk about five makeup brands that are not black girl friendly listen let me help you out let me put you on and let me save you some coin okay because i feel like as makeup buyers especially in today's society with inflation and all that we want to put our money towards those that actually care about us or actually put in effort to make makeup that looks good for us and these are some that don't so if you agree or disagree feel free to put it in the comments but keep it respectful hold on don't get crazy for the first brand we are going to talk about charlotte tilbury <gasps> so shocking so shocking your girl charlotte tilbury is not black girl friendly i love charlotte tilbury down i have some of their products in my collection but they are not black girl friendly their foundation shades suck for deeper complexions okay if you were going on sephora right now and look up charlotte tilbury products their foundation shade ranges stop probably at my skin tone i've always been like the skin tone that brands usually stop at i have a golden undertone and i'm usually in the deep category i may have like one shade deeper than mine but usually i am the cut off shade and that's just very disappointing especially with charlotte tilbury being such a huge brand in 2023 they work with a ton of influencers really big household names and they still can't make good foundation shades at this point it's giving they don't want to if we're being real any brand right now that does not have any type of inclusive shade range it's giving they just don't want to so you have to take it how it is another thing with charlotte tilbury a lot of their lip products cheek products like highlighters blushes they don't show up on dark skin so lip product wise you're, you're gonna need a lip liner Okay, the formulas are actually great. I do own a couple of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and I do like them. Um, they're not something that I would go and spend money like crazy for. It's not like high in demand for me. But their blushes and their highlighters, ashy, ghostly. The shades don't show up on dark skin. They may have like one or two black girl friendly shades within their launches for blushes and stuff like that but it's like usually one shade it's just not inclusive at all now i'm not completely bashing charlotte tilbury like i said i do own some of their stuff that i have but overall as a favorite brand or something that i would go immediately to if i go to sephora and go check out their kiosk it's not one of them it's not one of them okay the next brand that we're going to talk about is dior beauty or honestly any luxe makeup brand that falls for like dior chanel gucci all of those makeup brands under designer names not black girl friendly okay <laughs> not black girl friendly but are we surprised the shade ranges and the foundations are absolutely atrocious i think the only one that may be suitable is gucci and it was very recent that they added those shades. So yeah, tread lightly. <laughs> like I'm talking sometimes the shades don't even match the pictures on the websites. They're giving very gray or they're very red. It's just giving no thought at all when putting these shades out on the shelf. And it's crazy because you have the coin, you have the money, you're a whole luxe brand. And a lot of these designer brands are actually owned by bigger brands. So I really, I'm just so perplexed that their shade range is like that. But once again, like I said prior, it's a choice. A lot of the pigments in their products don't show up on black skin or dark skin and I'm mainly talking about Dior Beauty in this aspect on TikTok the girls were raving up those Dior blushes the pigment is not their friend you have to be damn near fair for those to show up on you they don't show up I'm so sorry <laughs> They don't show up. And then I think the biggest con out of everything that I've named for Lux brands, like Chanel, Dior, blah, 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 the price point. You're paying for products to not work on you or you're paying that money towards a brand that is making products that intentionally don't work out for you or you're an afterthought for those products. And I'm talking maybe like $40 for a blush, $60, $70 for a foundation. No ma'am, the only Lux product that I have is a foundation and it's the Giorgio Armani foundation and I love that foundation down. It's the wrong shade but I still use her from time to time because you know I paid the money. I paid the money but yeah that's the only one. These brands, these luxe brands just do not care. <laughs> and then the last brand that I'm going to warn you about is honestly a given. You should already know if you are a heavy makeup wearer or if you're in the makeup community I'm pretty sure you're going to know what brand I'm speaking about. Tarte. Tarte Cosmetics. Run run sis don't even go look at the kiosk let it go don't let the shape tape hype fool you okay the shade ranges that they have is actually one of the worst i've ever seen it's literally a hundred shades of white two dark shades don't believe me go look at a tart kiosk at the nearest sephora near you or the nearest ulta near you you don't believe me it's there they recently just put out a product that is super inclusive and it was because of being pressured <laughs> 
they were pressured to. <laughs> they had no choice. They have horrible inclusivity methods and decisions. Literally the only reason that they're inclusive I believe to this day is because they were forced to be. Literally so many people have called out Tarte Cosmetics for not being inclusive and they just didn't care but it got to the point that the backlash was so bad they just started putting out random stuff that was just super inclusive like a bronzer or a blush you know it's just very very bare minimum if you will. Tarte is also a very controversial brand mainly behind the scenes for content creators if you know you know they've had multiple scandals multiple scandals <laughs> related to not being inclusive with their makeup products so there's that and they actively leave out deeper complexions on purpose in my opinion. I truly believe the CEO is not interested in targeting black audiences or deeper complexions. I mean, honestly, the brand's been successful doing what they've been doing now, so why change, you know? But to wrap this video up, there are literally so many brands that actually do care and cater towards deeper complexions, black people as a whole. And you guys, if you want a video on that, I would be happy to give you one. Some of my favorite makeup brands, drugstore, prestige, high-end, I will definitely let you know. These three, stay away, stay far, far away. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video video and yeah stay furious bye